Aloha! Val Romero, the king of barbecues, here in Irving, Texas at the Irving Convention Center. Here celebrating the 2019 Zest Fest. In addition to exploring the Zest Fest, we'll be smoking on the Outlaw Pellet Smoker. Let's get those hunk of burning fires going. It's TCB time, taking care of barbecue. Today we're coming to you with smoked beef ribs and garlic mashed potatoes. First, we'll remove the membrane from the back of the ribs. We'll use a little bit of olive oil on the ribs to give our seasoning something a little extra to stick to using a hunk of burning rub. We'll be smoking for the first three hours and then transfer the ribs into an aluminum tin. Make a simple beer, beef broth, and Worcestershire liquid mix, steaming for the last hour and a half to two hours. And we will glaze with all sauced up barbecue sauce for the last 15 minutes. For our potatoes, take a larger Yukon Gold or your favorite potato. Set in the aluminum tin, drizzle with your favorite olive oil, rotate them in the tin so they're completely covered, and then season with suspicious spice. Cover with aluminum foil. We'll be putting these on at the same time as the ribs. We'll be setting the Outlaw Pellet Smoker at 230 degrees and using Little Devil Smoking Pellets for our smoke flavoring. While we wait for the magic to happen, let's check out the annual Zest Fest here in Irving, Texas. Let the Sunday smoke out begin. We're here at the Zest Fest in Irving, Texas here 2019. With me I have Greg and Logan to talk, us, talk to us about the Zest Fest. Who wants to take it first? <laughs> well, Zest Fest has been, uh, well we've been involved with Zest Fest for the last 19 years and it has grown to the foremost spicy flavorful food show in the United States. And we're having a great time here. We're getting thousands and thousands of people through the door and um, we're here to interview, be interviewed, <laughs> and uh, tell you what's going on. And how many years has the Zest Fest been going on for? A total 28. 28 years. 20 and you've been in this location for nine years, if I'm correct? Nine years. That's Fantastic. Correct. This is a beautiful, beautiful venue that you have over here. And then you also have uh, celebrity chefs that you have going on the stage as well, yeah. too. Are those? Tell me about more of those guys. So we've got two, two chefs, John Bunnell and Eddie Dean. They're local Texas guys. Eddie Dean, probably one of the premier barbecue chefs in all of Texas, if not the world. And John Bunnell, just a great chef, has some incredible restaurants in Texas. Uh, they do a lot for us, and we've also got L'Oreal Gavin, Sean O'Neill, uh, uh, Jeremy Hildebrand, mm -hmm. and, and uh, Peter Millette. Peter Millette. Okay. Uh, and they just, they've just they been helping us every year for the past couple years. Uh, they're really great. They come up on stage, they cook some great food, give out samples, make everyone really happy, and it's a good time. Yeah, I noticed on the shows that everybody's very interactive. Uh, the crowd is uh, taken by them, and they do a phenomenal job up over there. Um, you've got music playing when there's not things going on, all revolved around hot stuff and things of that nature, which is also very cool. It's a great vibe that you guys have here. But you also have a challenge. I think it's a Wingstop challenge? Yes. <laughs> Tell us more about that. Well, we also delve into the heat, and we have the Wingstop Atomic Wing Eating Contest, which is, this is their 11th year here. So that, um, and they bring some hot sauce, and we get, we get actually competitors from around the country driving in to, uh, to, to, uh, to uh, appear in that contest. Yeah, that was uh, pretty pretty intense yesterday. Did you just do one day or is it uh, two days well, on that one? Well, today we have Pucker Butts Jalapeno Eating Contest. And just one other thing I, I wanted to put in there, that Chef Eddie Dean, what he does is he goes around and he gets everybody's hot sauce and he, we bring this gigantic smoker here. It's probably the size of a tractor trailer. <laughs> and he puts their sauce on, on ribs and he cooks them and smokes them and then we start... Um, we let people sample them from the stage so you can actually get a taste of Zest Fest from Eddie Dean. And uh, yes, they actually came to my booth and got one of my barbecue sauces for the show yesterday. So uh, that, was, that was great to do that. And then from there, I had a few people come back and come to the booth and buy some of the product that was done on that one. So basically, it's a success as far as that goes. Uh, yeah, we, want, we, want, we want to involve the exhibitors as much as possible because this is really their show. You know, these are craftsmen and artisans that create this sauce. As you well know, what it takes to bring a sauce to market. And they work there and they put their hearts and souls in it. So it's our job to present that to the, to the public. And we try and do the best we can. And you do a great job. And you have people from all over the country. What other states are people coming from? I know I'm from Arizona. 
Uh, I think I met some people from next door, Wisconsin. And yeah, we've got Wisconsin. We've got Kay Johns here from Columbus, Ohio. We've got people from Oregon. Uh, and we've even got some inter international people bringing sauces in, either to the challenge or bringing in and exhibiting at the show. We've got, you know, some sauces from Melbourne, Australia, from Slovakia. From Slovakia yeah. Oh, wow. It's uh, becoming a very international show. It's very cool. And then Friday night you have an award ceremony for the vendors. So they submit their product yeah. and you have a pretty a nice uh, meal set up and a, a huge award ceremony. Yes, well, it's a, the Fiery Food Challenge, which is the largest spicy food competition in the United States, possibly the world. Um, and what we do is we get entries from all over the world. We do a totally blind judging so that nobody knows the product that they're judging. So it's all even keel. And um, then we do the awards dinner, which is a great time. The mayor was there, um, you know, and then we had Scott Hudson, our MC, who's actually very good. And, you know, maybe some of the major award shows could take a look at it, take, get some cues from him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did a really good job. It was very entertaining and fun. And thank you for thanking everybody very much at the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my pleasure. That was my pleasure. Uh, and then something else you guys did on Saturday night um, after the show, uh, there was actually a dinner that the, the general public could uh, join as well as uh, vendors. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, yeah, so that's, again, Eddie Dean puts that on for us. He barbecues whole pigs so we get ribs we get pulled pork we get some brisket we get sides uh, we open it up get tickets for that you know we get a lot of a lot of vendors a lot of people through you know moving a couple hundred people through getting them dinner in 15 20 minutes and it's just a way to kind of pe keep people here and keep them enjoying the show and the whole experience of zest fest you know getting them some some really flavorful food at the end of the day Yes, and that was fantastic. And, and for the vendors, it's a great that you put this on for us. And, and for the, uh, the people that come that participate, it's also a great way to keep, like I said, keep them here, keep them engaged so they don't have to go out and go eat somewhere. They've got it, everything right over here so they can actually make a full event of this. Yeah, and it's at a great price, 14 bucks for a full dinner and a couple of beers, you know. How can you beat that anyway? That is awesome. That is awesome. Especially for a fresh cooked, smoked, whole pig dinner. I mean, that, that thing was just mouth water. That yeah, was a fantastic time, so great job putting that up together. Is there anything else that we need to know about ZestFest before we wrap this up? Yeah, we're, we are announcing 20, 2020 dates, and uh, everyone should come down, either uh, participate in it, enter the Fiery Food Challenge, or just come and enjoy a great time. So if you're a vendor or if you're uh, uh, someone that wants to come enjoy this fun uh, event, please think about planning that for 2020. It is actually an awesome experience for both vendors as well as the general public. Again, thank you very much, Logan. Thank you, Mr. Thank you very much, thank Greg. You. Appreciate it. And uh, we will see you next year. And thank you. Thank you very much. Outlaw pellet smoker set at 230 degrees, so for 4 hours and 15 minutes in, the potatoes should be soft enough for mashing. Add a stick of butter, half a cup of milk, garlic cloves, and pour in the remainder of the olive oil in the mix. Add suspicious spice for added seasoning. Cover to retain the heat. In this recipe, we'll be over smoking the ribs like we would on a brisket or a pork shoulder. Internal temperature between 190 and 195 degrees. Don't forget to pull the aluminum cover and glaze with all sauced up for 15 minutes before removing from the smoker. After we pull from the smoker, cut and take off the meat from the bone and set in a small bowl. From outlaw pellet smoker to plate, using a large serving spoon, place a bed of garlic mashed potatoes and then take larger portions of the rib meat and set them on top of the potatoes. Dress the plate with a sprig of rosemary. Thank you again for joining us for another Sunday Smokeout. To find out more about the Zest Fest, visit ZestFest.net. You can get more recipes and purchase our products online at thekingofbbqs.com. Experience life one bite at a time using our rock and rubs and sauces. I'm Val Romero, the King of Barbecues, and thank you. Thank you very much. Join us next week back home from Tucson, Arizona and smoke on the Traeger Pellet Smoker.